All right, so it is window tint day. Headed over to Autoplex here in Loveland, Fort Collins, up in northern Colorado. Had some work done on my Ram truck that I had at this place. I really like. Uh, I really like them. They do a good job, quality work. They they do tinting on Teslas, so we're gonna get the the windows tinted today. Super excited. Uh, I'm not a big fan of of windows that don't have tint on them. Uh, I, I call it the fishbowl. Even though the back windows have a little bit of tint on them, you know, I want them all done up and all a little bit darker. So I'm not gonna tell you what I'm gonna get done yet. We'll uh, talk about that once we get the tint complete and it's all done and we got the car back. Appointments at 12.30, they say it's gonna take all afternoon, which I fully expected. So um, got the wife and daughter trailing behind the Tesla to, pick me up and go do some other stuff while they're working on this. While I'm there, we're gonna talk about PPF because this morning I was detailing her up, cleaning it up, and I've got like 600 miles on her. And uh, yeah, I've got a freaking rock chip already on my, on, my, uh, on my hood. Just a real tiny one. So I'm gonna have to get a paint repair kit, get that touched up, and then we're going to throw some PPF on this. We're going to do the whole front clip. Probably do the mirrors and the pillars. And then in front of the rear wheels on the door. Uh, lower corner of the door. So we're going to talk to them today about getting that PPF done. And how much that's going to cost. I'll let you know once I figure that out. But we're on our way to get the windows tinted now. Um, lots of fun. Make sure you check out my last video. I talked about the the first three accessories that are a must-have. I almost consider this uh, 3B. I don't really consider it an accessory. It's more of a modification to the car. But this is like the first mod that I suggest that you get. Especially if you live in a hotter climate, a lot of sun. Here in northern Colorado, while we might not be a hot climate, although it is 86 degrees today at 12 o'clock already, it's gonna be hotter. Um, I do because we have so much sun here in Colorado you really want to have your windows tinted so we're gonna get them done today so stay around stick around and I'll show you what they look like when they're all done we'll have some see if we can get some clips of them doing it and uh, I'll let you know where I'm getting it done and yeah thanks for watching today all right so it's been a couple days since I got the windows tinted and I waited for a purpose for a reason because I wanted to truly have a feel of what it's like driving with the windows tinted darker. I, I mean, I, I've had tinted windows before, so don't get me wrong there, except for I've never had my windshield tinted. And I gotta tell you, you can't even tell it's tinted. I got 80% tint on my windshield and really you can't tell it's tinted. We drove last night at night back from Denver up to north where I live. And even at nighttime, you, the, the fact that the window is tinted, you couldn't even tell. Now the side windows, I did do 20% all the way around. So that makes the the front two, the, 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 on the driver and the passenger side, both sit at 20% and then I added 20% film over the rear smoked windows, the back two and then the, the trunk lid window. So those got darker, but I really like the way it looks. It's just dark enough to give the privacy. I put the good ceramic um, uh, tint on so it'll help with the temperatures. So I'm super excited with how it looks. It, you know, it just looks really clean, really sharp. And I'm, I'm very thankful for Autoplex in Northern Colorado and Loveland and Fort Collins. They put the tint on, not a bad price. They did it in about three hours and I'm super stoked. I will be taking my car back there in a couple weeks to get the front end PPF'd. So that'll be nice. I had to make an appointment. Um, I have an appointment to take my Tesla to the service center on the 13th 
to get the items fixed from delivery day and so i didn't want to do the well i can't do the ppf before that they didn't have time for me so i'm going to schedule my appointment for right after i get the car back from tesla so it'll go over there they'll need it for about a day and then we will get the front end ppf i've got one rock chip i've got to fix that i've got to touch up but it's not too bad should be an easy touch up and uh, then we'll throw some ppf on the top of it so without further ado here's the reveal of the tint so as you can see 20 percent on the front just gives it enough privacy you can see in a little bit but it's not too bad as far as overall goes in the rear um, you can't see very good into it and you got to understand where i'm sitting right now uh, the sun was on the other side and so it uh it was letting the sun shine through and making it look lighter than it was as I come around the this side with the sun at my back. The back of windows are completely darked out and the front windows let just a little bit of light through. So not bad at all. And then the windshield, like I said, just a little bit of, of tint. You can hardly tell that it's there. And you can definitely not really tell when you're driving and it just has a really clean look to it. And the car overall, with the windows tinted and the red with the black accents and rims and everything blacked out, just looks sick. Can't really tell from this angle. Let's scoot around the front. Um, I don't know if you can see the bugs on the front that I killed yesterday on my trip to Denver. I haven't had a chance to clean them off. But uh, man, that car just looks so clean with the windows tinted as we swing around the back and check out the back and the rims. And I did change out. Um, I did cover um, up my Tesla Chrome logos with a black overlay. And then I changed out my dual motor to black as well. But it just looks so clean. All right, so that'll do it for today's video with getting the windows tinted. If you're getting a Tesla or you have a Tesla and you don't have your windows tinted, I highly recommend you do it. Even if it's a low percentage, if you put on the UV blocking uh, tint, it'll help keep the heat down. Tons of places do it. I would say the number one thing that I would recommend if you're getting your windows tinted is first call the place and ask them if they've tinted Tesla windows before. Teslas have a little bit different um, way to tint them because the windows go down when you open the doors they need to cure that top so it won't let loose. You also just want to make sure that they know how to take the panels off and get them back on. If you're having your windshield tinted there's a couple of panels that have to be taken off to tint the windshield so you want someone with some experience doing that. So ask those questions if those if they've tinted Teslas before. And I would even ask if they've got pictures of Teslas that they tinted before. Not that you want proof, but just to see the quality of work of the place. And I know there's lots of other Tesla owners out there that'll recommend window tint places wherever you live. If you live in Colorado, there's a ton of them. If you're in Northern Colorado, um, like I said, Autoplex, they're, at, they're by the Loveland Fort Collins Airport in Loveland. Uh, right on the Loveland Fort Collins border so does a super good job but that'll do it for today's video make sure you subscribe to the channel and drop a like on this video both of those things are free to you they don't cost you anything they only help me out so subscribe like and if you've got a comment drop a comment below also if you have a place where you get your windows tinted just drop a, a comment with the location that you live in the window tinting place that'll help subscribers be able to find window tinters in their area that are good at tinting Teslas. Like I said, not everybody can tint a Tesla and it's okay, but I want to make sure that we all have someone that can tint our Teslas and not mess them up. So thanks for watching today's video. Make sure you subscribe so you can catch the next video. I got lots of great content coming as always get in your car, have fun, drive and be safe.